family welcome to today's video we are strawberry picking yeah. it is a beautiful cool day out it's nice and overcast it's probably mid 70s Melanie's got Daisy on her chest all the kids have a bucket and we're ready to pick some strawberries can we do a race hmm no. no. okay we're gonna damage the, strawberries if we do that. yeah yeah that's true okay okay the competitor in me is like yeah let's race it up man kids love picking strawberries yeah, blueberries on the vine, not on the ground yeah you can't get them from the ground pick them from the vine there you go Katie you got it oh find a good one we're both sides that one's all right it'll be it'll become more red we love picking strawberries we love picking blueberries you found a good one awesome and we love sunflower fields, all the outdoor stuff you get to do at different times of year here at Mick Farms. We love the Mick family too. Ooh, I see a good one under here. Ooh, look at that, Logie Bear. Caleb's on the hunt for the perfect strawberry rather than 30 mediocre ones. <laughs> we gotta keep walking, we gotta keep walking. They're not as ripe as we'd like. We'll have to pick them and hope they ripen a little bit more. Look at this sweet girl zoo family. She's gonna be a big girl already. Already can't be such a big girl in there. We She'll love feel this feel bigger. She'll feel bigger when she's sleeping through the night. I know, right? I'm telling that infant stage. Look at that sweet girl. Look at that sweet girl holding her head up. She is so strong, Zoo family. It's unbelievable to have a baby that gestationally is the size of a one month old and yet she holds her head up completely fine. She has such neck strength, it's crazy. Mom loves this wrap. I forget who got it for her off the top of my head. We use it so often, thanks to whoever got that for us from our registry. You finding any, Caleb? Hey, that's not bad, man, not half bad. We don't need everyone to fill up their buckets. We just need a... Uh maybe one solid bucket by the time we're done. So everyone fill up one fourth of a bucket. What? We don't want four buckets of strawberries. We'll never eat them. We'll never eat them, folks. What, mom? Mom sells blueberries from last year. That's well, true. Why don't we get lots of them and, and sell them to the Florida country? We're not gonna resale. We're not gonna resale. All right, we're gonna go we don't want to undercut Florida farmers. <laughs> So little Miss Daisy and I have been under the weather. I think you probably can hear it in my, in my voice. So this is the first time that we've been outside in a few days. So the fresh air seems to be helping. And we are going to make strawberry pie. Yeah. And maybe strawberry bread. Maybe I'll do strawberry bread this year. I don't know. Um, with all these berries. So definitely love strawberry pie. I know, this is amazing. Um, but strawberry bread, I've had, um, never made it myself. But maybe we'll try that. It can't be that much, that's much harder than banana nut bread. So maybe I'll do that. Okay, so we spent time with the Millers. And You're just right off the bat with that? Yeah. Yes, this is this And is I totally to the blame them. I blame them too, but I'm thankful to them. No, that's, that's what awesome. I really am. Uh, we used to be people who walked around with a a nice DSLR camera on our vacations and everything. We didn't even video as much right. as we would photo, uh, especially those years where we weren't vlogging between our first yep. season, I'll call it our first season of vlogging, which lasted till 2014, I guess, and then 2017. So in that 2014 to 2017, we took way more stills. So we used to have a Canon 7D and we loved our 7D. In fact, uh, the, the lens we use used we want to get that lens again to put with this this is a canon 6d mark ii and we love it so far it's awesome we miss having a nice dslr so much this is why melanie says that the millers influenced us because while we were walking around vlogging with them they had a still camera um i, can't, I think they had a sony i, I don't sure. know everyone has their brand i've just been a canon person for so long that i stick with canon i know canon i like canon well we've had a canon so it makes and i sense. love i love the canon lenses particularly um, if I was a Nikon person, I'd probably prefer the bodies over the lenses. Crazy, I know. Um, but it, it inspired us, you know, maybe we should get a DSLR again. And here you go, before the new year, we, we have a DSLR. Yep. This is a 50 millimeter, and then we're gonna get also a 17 to 55. And um, this is, it's just beautiful shots. And then we wanna start to share those on our vlogs, kinda like the Millers do. We're totally ripping off them. 
Uh, no, okay, in all we're totally fairness. We're totally ripping them off, we know, but. In all fairness, I've been bugging you for years to get a she point has. shoot. Melanie, every once in a while. Melanie is not the type, Zoo Family, you know this. Melanie's not the type to ask for things. She's just not. Especially not gadgets. Especially not gadgets, yeah. If she asks for something, it's a $50 comfy throw pillow or blanket or something. And I've been kind of, I haven't been ignoring her, but I always thought it was a passing fancy. And I'm really I don't say it all the time. Like, I don't annoy you with it, you know? No, you don't say it all the time. To your, to your defense, you don't say it all the time. But, uh. No, to your defense. To my defense, you don't say it all the time. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. You're a good wife. <laughs> looking out for me. But, uh, looking out for me in the comment section. Melanie and I talked about it and we realized, you know what? Maybe it's not a passing fancy. Maybe it's worth doing again. Well, now that we Daisy's little, yeah, you know, like yeah. we want to get those shots and. Yeah. Our last infant, we want to be able to get the shots that we want without having to hire a professional photographer every time we want to take anything and then a point no shoot. offense to our amazing personal professional photographers yeah, out it there. just gets expensive for how often we want to take photos of her it's nice to have a DSLR again I miss it Dude, funny story when Melanie and I went to Hawaii for our fifth, fifth wedding anniversary uh, we only had Caleb my sister watched Caleb for a week and we had a Canon 7d with a oh, 17 no. to 55 millimeter lens and we left it at the cruise check-in desk and someone stole it. When we went back, it was gone and we were like, oh, oh my so gosh, upset. here we are in Hawaii and we don't have our nice DSLR camera. I was and so upset. we took all our photos on an iPhone, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Wasn't it an iPhone back then? Yeah. And it wasn't even one of the nicer, no. more modern iPhones, the iPhone 4 or something like that. So yep. um, yeah, so we have all our Hawaii pictures on an iPhone, not a, not a nice DSLR, so. He's been very kind because actually, like, I got really sick that day and started to get, like, a pass out feeling, and that's the reason why we left the camera on yeah, the I desk. Yeah, I wasn't gonna mention that, but Melanie no. was feeling ill, and I tended to her. I went and found, I went and talked to, what, a cruise yeah, like a, employee. Yeah, right. I got a wheelchair for her to sit down and need to wheel her to the cruise ship. It was just like a little bout of nausea for some reason. Yeah. We weren't even on the ship yet. No. <laughs> that's what's crazy. I think it was blood sugar related. Um, and in all that, I went, where's my camera? Do you have it? I don't have it. And I ran back and it was already stolen. We don't need to perpetuate the story, but we walked around that cruise for a week looking for someone who was using my camera. But whoever it was, was sly enough. They didn't want to use it on the ship and be caught. So they just kept it and took it home. So not everyone's honest, unfortunately. It's why whenever we find something, it doesn't matter if it's a dollar, it doesn't matter if it's a camera or anything in between, we return it. Cause we know that feeling of that sinking feeling of losing something yeah. that's important to you. What Our a, camera. What an understatement. I'm not talking about a child, which we have lost a child too. Like, and even when I said that, I'm like, if I had said that a year ago, it would have felt way different than talking about a, a camera now. So right. Perspective perspective. You guys got enough? Yeah. You filled up your buckets? Okay, that's enough. Okay, yeah, that's I think we're done. I, I think, think we're we good. Too much. Too much. Oh my goodness. No, yeah. Pick up mine. Oh my goodness. Look at Caleb's. Caleb almost filled oh my bucket. word, Caleb. <laughs> okay, that's enough. We're going to combine these buckets and take them home and eat some strawberries. And mom's going to learn to make strawberry pie maybe. Maybe. No, and I said bread. Bread, strawberry bread. Yeah, I was going to make strawberry bread. Strawberry bread. I've never had Or like the dumb cake. Bread. The dump cake that I make with blueberries? Ooh, dump cake. Yep. With pineapple. So you yeah. just dump it in Yeah, it's so easy. You it's dump super... in all the ingredients and then just it bake it and it and it yep. goes. Yup. my pie too. Okay, how many pounds do you guys think we have? I want to know. I don't know. How many we pounds? Have my, my That's wow. This is light. Okay, I'm going to guess. I'm, I want to know combined weight. Okay. Like, let's guess combined weights. I'm going to say... <laughs> okay. Nine pounds of strawberries. Anyone else have another guess? No. Okay, nine pounds it is. That's what I think. I'm going seven and a half. Oh, mom's com mom's competitive like daddy. Mom says seven and a half. I say nine. Who's with dad? I will <laughs> Nobody. Okay, and you two are with mom. Seven and a half. I'm kind of in between. Let's go see what it is. Mom says seven and a half. I say eight and a half actually. Okay, we got an eight and a half. Family, I wish you could smell. Oh my gosh, smell this! Like, you can take a big whiff. Just, oh. oh, they smell good. You can smell the sweetness. They actually Lucky go. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Come here. I know it feels silly. You smell it? No. 
Oh no, yes you do. Doesn't it smell good, Mom? Yeah. That's what that's what okay, Tim, that's Plant enough. City. That's enough. It does smell like Plant City. Plant City they, where we used to go for strawberries. I'm so thankful that we have a local grower now. I know, right? We have to drive about an hour. An hour and a half. An hour away. <laughs> 